Hey, what's up? It's Brian here with Haley Family. We have another RV project we're gonna do. Our slide seals here are getting kind of old and worn out and we're gonna replace those. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, before we get started here, there's a couple things you're gonna wanna have to do this project. One of them is just a, a screwdriver with a Phillips head on it. Uh, you're gonna need some painter's tape. You're gonna need a staple gun and some staples to go along with it. You're gonna need a caulking gun. And I'm going to use die, die core sealer uh, because it, it will adhere to the fiberglass and it will also adhere to the rubber. Um, some uh, common, common uh, silicone caulking will not adhere to the rubber, so that's why I'm going to use die core. Uh, you're going to need a hammer. Uh, you're going to need some snips to cut the seals themselves, the rubber seals. And then you're also going to need one of these things I, I call, it's called a magic eraser. And when you take off the old uh, seals, there's an adhesive backing. And the best way to get that off, I found, is using one of these uh, magic erasers. You just plug it into your drill and uh, it polishes that adhesive right off. And then you're also just going to need some like alcohol wipes or sanitizing wipes to make sure you have all the dust and debris off of there uh, before we put the new seals on. Um, other than that, uh, that's pretty much all you'll need. Oh yeah, and some needle nose pliers because you'll have to pull out the old staples. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all you'll need and uh, let's get started. Okay, the first step is to remove the old seals and uh, to do that, right under the bottom here, right here, you lift it up and you can see a screw in there. There's one on the top and one on the bottom and once you take that screw out, this outer piece just slides right off and then you can get to the flat piece. Okay, I just got my screwdriver here. I'm gonna unscrew this bottom screw. Just like that. And you wanna keep these screws so you can reuse them. Okay, the same thing on the top. I got my step ladder. I'm gonna take the screw out of the top and then this outer uh, seal should slide right off the track. It is. I'm going to save my screw. Now I'm going to pull this outer seal right off the track. Just like that. And you can see how it's on a track here. The new seal will be the same way. All right, we have the, the seal that runs on the track removed, and we have the flap seal underneath here. And you can see right here there's staples. There's staples all the way up and all the way down. You're going to want to use your needle nose pliers and remove all of those staples. Once the staples are removed, then we will remove the rubber seal. All right, I got all the staples out. Now I'm going to start pulling this up. There's going to be sealant on the outside of it, and don't worry, it's going to start peeling and ripping as you pull it off. Um, but yeah, you just pull it right off of here. Just like that. And so you can see there's an adhesive backing. Okay, we have uh, the flap seal off of here and you could see where the adhesive backing was and then you could see, see where the old sealant was. You've gotta get all of this off of here. And uh, it, it'll take a little bit. You'll, you'll be some scrubbing, some scraping, some peeling, but you wanna get it nice, clean surface. So. Uh, I'm going to get going. I'm going to use a, a scraper first and then I'll go to my uh, my magic eraser I told you about. All right. Scrape it all off.
Okay, here is where the magic eraser comes in handy. This just goes right into your drill, and then you just come right over here, right over to where uh, where all of the adhesive is, and you just turn this baby on. And it polishes it right off. It is the coolest thing ever. We'll link this down in the description. This is probably one of the best tools I have found for getting adhesive off, for getting any kind of uh, sealant, any kind of anything off that you want off that's sticking. I mean, this thing is amazing. Okay, I finished uh, up with the Magic Eraser, getting all of the old adhesive off of there, and I'll show you what it looks like. It. Uh, it kind of looks like a bomb went off. There's bits and stuff everywhere. So I'm going to wipe all this down. And then once I get it cleaned up, I'm going to come back with some uh, alcohol. And I'm going to put it in a spray bottle. And I'm going to wipe all of this down and get it as clean as I can. Um, that way the adhesive that is on the back of the seal can stick and you want it to stick to that and you need to get it as clean as you possibly can. So I'm gonna grab my cleaning supplies and clean this up and once I'm done, I'll check back in. Okay, here's what our flap seal looks like and there's a string, little string of, of adhesive. So you pull this back and then you'll stick it on and the way it works is the inside, this little hook, hooks right inside. So for us, th this side, this will be on the top this nice flat surface and then this hooks right into the side of the slide I'll see if I can show you it's kinda hard okay it's gonna hook right into the side of the slide like that this little tab goes right up against the side and then you'll use your adhesive and push it all the way up so you will want this side to be just below the bottom seal so the top seal will overlap um, so when I get to that point I'll show you what it looks like Okay, so I have my uh, new flapper seal installed here. I put it just where the old one was. And so the old one on the top is still in place. And the reason I left it in place, I need to know where to cut my new seal. Because you want this top one to overlap the bottom one. So when the rain comes down, it runs off. You don't want rain coming in here or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this seal here right along with the roof so then the new seal the new flap will lay right on top of this one and cover it up so when it rains water comes down and runs off so it's kind of cut at an angle going up and so now when I put on my new roof seal it's gonna come clear out to the edge of this one and it's gonna fully cover it and there's gonna be a lip that hangs off so when it rains, the rain comes down, washes over, and goes off the side. You want to make sure your top seal covers your side seal, because rain goes down, rain doesn't go up. So you want it to wash it down. Now the next step, since we have this, the flapper seal stuck on here with the adhesive, is you're going to get the staple gun, and you're going to put staples in it, just like the old one. Okay, I got my staples staple gun you're gonna want these staples to go in between this track because your other seal rides in this track so you're gonna put it right in between right in the middle just like that and you're gonna do that all the way down to the bottom okay now I'm gonna cut the seal at the bottom here you're gonna want to find where your screw hole is here and you're kind of cut, cut about an inch below it so I'm gonna cut right here okay I got that cut off now I'm gonna get the seal that runs on the track. Okay, and this other seal just slides right onto the track, just like that, and then you just slide it all the way up to the top. Okay, it's all the way up here. You can see where the old seal was, and so there's already a screw hole. I'm gonna put the screw right there where, where it was before, get this locked in place. Okay, it's all screwed in there. I got the screw holding it in. Next step is I'm going to take the top off. Um, you'll want to do the other side just the same as this. Um, but uh, I'll go ahead and take this top off and get the new pieces installed and show you what I'm going to do with this flap when, the, when I come to this side, okay? Okay, so I got the upper flap on here. And you can see how it comes down 
comes down nicely. So when it rains, the rainwater will run right off of here. And the way to get it to do that is there's that tab. You're gonna have to cut that tab off just a little bit, about two inches, all the, just so it lays flat against the RV. That tab will prevent it from laying flat. And so then now when you run your seal that runs in this track and you put your screw in, it will set flat against your RV. And then when you run your sealant around here, you can run it all the way around and up in here and it lays flat. You won't have any gaps. And then this will let the water run down and off and around. You won't have any place for water to get into. Okay, I got the other slide in the track. Now I'm gonna put my screw in here to hold it flat against the RV. Okay, so I got it screwed in. Let's see if I can show you the screw. Right there's the screw. You can see how there's very little gaps. You don't want any gaps in there. You want it to come out. If you didn't cut that tab off, this thing would be tilted forward and there would be a big gap in here and on the, on the side. So then this makes it much easier to fill this in with that die core sealer and the die core will stick to rubber and it will also stick to the fiberglass. All right, so we got it all on there, all the way around. So the next step is I'm gonna tape off around the seals here. Because we want to put die core right here and we want to smash the die core into this hole. Okay, I put rubber gloves on for this part. I got my die core here. And as you can see, I taped it off. It's about an inch away from the seal. Now I'm just going to fill that gap right in this corner with the die core. And then I'm going to come back with my finger and smash it in really well. Okay, so we got a nice run of die core in there. So now all you're gonna do is take your finger and smash it in there really good. Just like that. And any die core that gets too far, that's what the tape is for. It'll keep it from coming off. Right, there we go, I got the die core on there. And now we're just gonna take off the tape and you'll see how much cleaner it looks. Okay, our last and final step is we're gonna cut over on this slide seal, on the flapper seal and then cut down and get it as close to the seal on the track as you can. So that way when your slide goes in, this flapper will tuck right inside and when it pops back out, it'll pop right back out and it'll be right right beside the this, this seal on the track. All right, there we go, I gotta cut off. And so then now I'm gonna do is maybe fill this area in here uh, with some die core, um, but this will fold inside this flap will fold inside and this flap will be able to fold inside and the water will be able to run right off of it because they are overlapping. Okay, there's the seals. Uh, you see the flapper seal here and then the seal that runs in the track there and then there's the die core. It looks nice and clean since we put that tape on there. So this flapper seal, when the slide's out, it'll flop out and when the slide goes in, it'll roll in and then this seal that runs on the track when the slide's in, we'll seal up against this side. Okay, I took the slide in so you can see how tight the seal is all the way around. You can see how tight that seal is all the way up and all the way at the top. Another way to check is to go inside the RV and um, if you see any daylight coming out of the corners or anything like that, just pull the slide back out and fill those gaps in with Dicor or sealant. Um, you don't want to see any daylight inside. Okay, so I just finished the rubber seals, replacing the rubber seals on our small slide, and it took about three hours. I got a big slide to do, so this is going to be an all-day project for me, but it's something I need to do. Those rubber seals were falling apart, and uh, if those seals fall apart, that's a possible entry point for water. And by the time you notice you have a water leak, usually damage has already been done. So I'm gonna spend the money, take the time, do this preventative maintenance so it saves me time and money later. Yeah, these rubber seals are expensive. For us, it was about $400 to do all of our rubber seals for our slides. For your particular RV, it could be more or it could be less. 
but you need to contact your manufacturer, look, look it up in your owner's manual, see what type of rubber seals you need, and make sure they're in good working condition. Um, hopefully after watching this video you can see it's not that difficult. Um, the hardest thing is getting that surface as clean as possible. You don't want to spend all this money on these new rubber seals and then stick it to a dirty surface. Um, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, please subscribe. Um, thanks to all of our uh, current subscribers for watching. We're going to have some more uh, adventures and projects soon, but in the meantime, get out, have an adventure, and make your own memories.